A fourth basic skill for AP Chemistry is being able to make measurements in the laboratory. So what this means is you're able to measure the mass or the length or the volume of an object using the correct number of significant figures. Now sometimes this is easy. If you have a scale and you're putting something on there, some sort of electronic balance, it gives you a readout and you just write down what it says, 160.03 grams in this case, and that has the appropriate number of significant figures. However, sometimes it's harder. You may not have a digital readout all the time. You may have something like this burette where you have to uh, estimate. In this case, we have a meniscus. And so uh, in this case, since it curves downward, we read at the bottom of that meniscus. If you ever have a meniscus that curves in the opposite direction, curving upward, you would read at the top. We always read at the vertex of that little parabola that you see there. So whenever you make a measurement, you always report every digit that you're sure of, as well as the first digit that you're unsure of. So what that means is you have to read between the lines. So we can see it's between 20 and 21. So it's got to be 20 point something. And it's between 20.9 and 21.0. So it's 20.9 something. So we have to read between those lines. And everybody might be a little bit different on this. But you may look at that and say, oh, that looks like it's about 20.96 milliliters. Either way, you have to read between the lines in order to, uh, to make a, a precise measurement on something like this. Uh, perhaps you have a graduated cylinder looking like this. We know it's uh, somewhere between 25 and 26 milliliters. So you estimate that between the lines. Looks like it's about you know, 25.8 or something like that. Other folks might look at that and say 25.7. Uh, There's a little bit of uncertainty here. All measurements need to have that little bit of uncertainty in there. If we have a paper clip and we're trying to measure it, same idea here. We have to measure it by reading between the lines. So looks like it's between 2 and 3 centimeters. So you have to estimate, we might say eh, about 2.3 centimeters, something like that. So there we have uh, the length of an object. Now remember, our ability to measure is dependent on the measuring tool that we have available to us. So here's the exact same uh, paper clip, but this time we have a ruler that measures to the tenths of a centimeter or a millimeter, as we might say. This time we know it's between 2.3 and 2.4. So now we still have to read between the lines and say maybe it's about mm, 2.34 centimeters. Hope you enjoyed this little lesson about uh, measuring in the laboratory in AP Chemistry. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.